Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite quarterback hater, Robert Mathis, and you're listening to the For the Culture Podcast. This is the For the Culture Podcast. I am your host, Jason Spears, back with another roster update for the Colts as they sign free agent cornerback Tremont Smith, 24 years old, who, who just actually turned 24 on July 20th, and wave defensive end Kendall Coleman a little bit about Tremont Smith. 5'11", 190, cornerback, kickoff returner, punt returner. Has spent time with the Eagles, Packers, and Chiefs. Got most of his playing time with the Chiefs, though. Some of you all might remember that he recovered his first and only fumble versus the Indianapolis Colts in the 2018 divisional round game against Kansas City, in which we sadly lost and was the last ever game by Andrew Luck, so that's not a great memory for us, but that is the one game Tremont Smith recovered a fumble, so I thought I'd mention it. He was selected by the Kansas City Chiefs in the sixth round of the 2018 draft. Watched a little bit of stuff on this guy. He's mostly a kick return, punt return guy. 4-3 speed. Uh, His one big play that I did see was a play against the New England Patriots from 2018 where he returned to kick off 97 yards but was run down from behind by Devin McCourty, who's also very fast. So that's never a good sign. Uh, But, you know, it is what it is. Got run down. It happens. But a great play. You know, the one play that I saw as far as big plays go. He's a solid kick return guy. Not as great on punt returns and not a lot of experience as a corner in this league. He has played some. He started one game at corner for the Chiefs in 2018, but this is a guy that's more of a depth signing. I think it's going to push Isaiah Rogers, who I'm hearing is really blowing people away with his speed at camp. So interesting you know, development to see these two guys go at it because they're very similar. Tremont Smith obviously has the a little bit of an experience advantage or a lot of an experience advantage in the kick return game. Not much of one as far as uh, you know defensive back play and corner play as he hasn't played that much there. So not a big advantage there, but they're both very fast. Tremont Smith, 5'11", 190. Definitely a bigger guy than, than Isaiah Rogers. So I think this is a depth signing, obviously, but also a signing to kind of push the guys that we have. So we'll we'll see how things shake out. As far as Kendall Coleman goes, I'm, I'm disappointed for him. Obviously, me being a Syracuse guy, I had high hopes for him before all this happened when I found out, you know, as far as the COVID stuff, when I found out the Colts signed him, I thought he had a really, really good chance to make the roster just based on what I'd seen from him out of Syracuse. And just I know his talent level and his effort level, and I think he is going to catch on somewhere. But unfortunately for him, you know, he he was waived to make room for for Traymond Smith. You know, I've never really got into the COVID stuff as far as the effect it will have and, and has had on the roster. I think this is a prime example because Kendall Coleman, he never even got to a padded practice. And so he didn't really get to show what he can do. I mean, let alone a game, like a preseason game. Obviously not having preseason games this year is very, very going to be very tough for undrafted guys and late round guys, because you're going to have to show whatever you can do in practice. And if you're not a good practice player, and let me tell you throughout history, there's been some really great football players that have been horrible practice players. One that comes to mind is Derek Thomas who was a terrible practice player, but when the lights came on, he was he was a Hall of Fame player, no question. Absolute monster on the field. So, and I'm not saying, and that's not me saying I think Kendall Coleman is going to be Derek Thomas. That's me saying that there are going to be guys that get released that are going to be big-time players in this league because they're not going to get the opportunity that they would normally have to show what they can do against other competition because you're only going, you know, 14 padded practices against your own guys and they've got to get all the other guys involved, the starters, the backups. So your reps are going to be limited. So this is a very tough thing, man. I mean, I'm, I'm never one to, uh, to say, you know, things are super rough for, for pro athletes, but this is one year where, I mean, it's just tough, man, for undrafted rookies and, 
and late round picks to really to really make an impact or make the impact that they might possibly have had had they gotten the opportunity to play in some preseason games. And we all know Frank Reich was going to play young guys, late round picks, undrafted free agents, a ton, as as all teams do in the preseason. So that is something that I think has has really affected these these young players. Unfortunately, it's a side effect of COVID. I mean, it is what it is. You've got to make the best of it. The Colts are trying to get prepared for Jacksonville. They're trying to get all their players up to speed. They don't have a lot of time. I mean, it's 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 really a, a tough situation for every team, every player. It's just not – I mean, for everybody in this country with this COVID thing, it's just – it's unfortunate. Hopefully it gets worked out soon, you know, and, and we can slow this thing down and get back to a normal life. But for now, it's it's the way it is. And this is the NFL for 2020. I mean, you're going to see a lot of roster shake up. I mean, this is this is what two or three moves in the last week for the Colts. And they're generally not they, they do a lot. But I think you're going to see more turnover in roster in 2020 across the league more than you've ever seen. And I think this is just the beginning because people are going to make mistakes. I mean, because you're just not getting enough tape on these players and enough looks at these players. And that's not, I'm not really going to blame anyone for that. They've got to do what they got to do to prepare their team for the season because that's all they got. They don't have preseason games and they, and they really only have 14, I think 14 padded practices. So they've got to do what they got to do. And unfortunately, the guys that are going to get left out in the cold are guys like Kendall Coleman and probably a few other players that we're going to have to cut. So tough situation all around, but you know, you just have to make do. I wish Kendall Coleman the best, really, really solid kid, a good player at Syracuse. I think he will catch on somewhere. If nothing else, I think he will get a practice squad invite from somebody who knows it could be the Colts. So Best of luck to him. But as far as Traymond Smith goes, I think this is definitely, you know, just a depth signing for corner, trying to push maybe to see if they can improve the kickoff return game. Maybe him and Rodgers, maybe they're 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 gonna battle it out. We'll see what happens. But I, I certainly don't think this is gonna be the last of roster movement. And, you know, with like I said, with COVID being what it is and the effect it's having on every league. You know, whether it's played in a bubble or played in an empty stadium or whatever, it's had an effect on everything, everyone's life, every, I mean, just everything. So hopefully, you know, we all hope and pray this thing comes to an end sooner than later. But for now, we've just, this is what, you know, this is what the 2020 NFL is. And, and you know, it's going to be roster turnover like you've never seen. So hopefully... You know, we, we get a little bit more insight into what's going on in camp over the next few weeks. Obviously, they haven't really allowed much uh, as far as media access to the practices and whatnot. Hopefully that changes a little bit so we have more of an idea of what's going on out there. I have heard that T.Y. Hilton has looked great in practice and, and really developed a rapport with, with Phillip Rivers that's continuing to improve by the day. Just a few notes that I've, you know, that anyone can read. It's on Colts.com. I mean, I don't have any special inside information, just stuff that you read on Colts.com, and they're not going to be telling you, oh, so and so sucks, or this guy's playing bad. So we have no idea what they're seeing out of their corners. We have no idea, you know, if somebody's not playing or whatever, or you just don't know because the the access is so limited. But hopefully, like I said, that'll change over the next few weeks, and we'll get a little bit more insight from writers of what's going on within the Colts you know practices because we really we really don't know so with that I'm gonna wrap this up just want to jump on here real quick and give you my thoughts on on this signing we will be back later on in the week probably with a QA. uh we'll see what happens but definitely something coming also Luke and I have talked about doing a in memoriam show for uh the late John Tierlink and Howard Mudd, they deserve to be recognized, and we will. We obviously have great respect, and and our thoughts and prayers are with their families. Obviously, the, uh, you know, Tierlink passed away a few months ago, and then Howard Mudd last week. So very sad situation in Colts Nation, losing two two of the three. When I think of the pantheon of great 
assistant coaches that we've had here in Indianapolis, I think of three guys. I think of of Tom Moore, Howard Mudd, and John Tierlink. I think they were just exceptional coaches. Obviously, Tom Moore's still with us and going strong, uh, loves the game, and I think he'll be around it forever as long as he's walking this earth. So, But, yeah, we will, we will do a show – paying our respects to those two guys and kind of a career, a memoriam on both of those great coaches and the players that they coached. And, uh, you know, it's, it's tough, but you, you want to pay respects to the greats and, and we'll, we will talk about those guys in a show coming up. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Hang in there. Football's on its way coming soon. Luke and I will be back with a, a show in the next few days here on the, for the culture podcast.